Let's talk about health, baby. Yeah? No? Okay. <laughs> but really, let's talk about health and healthy living. So the other day I talked about, um, on my Instagram story, a post about healthy living and healthy people. And I kind of just wanted to clarify or more so specify what it means to be healthy, at least for me as an individual. So I have a more holistic view on what health means. So for me, healthy living is when you decide to take charge of your health and realizing that you have the option to either contribute to your well-being or to not. So when I say well-being, I'm not just talking about the physical body. Like I said, it's more of a holistic or holistic view of our entire well-being or entire constitution so it's you know your physical body along with your emotional body it's your spiritual body it's your mental body you know all these aspects contribute to our health as an individual so let's talk about the physical body first um and the foods we eat so you know it's choosing to eat more organic it's choosing to eat more um, fruits, it's choosing to eat more veggies, it's choosing to eat more whole foods rather than something that's processed or something that's quick. Now, you know, don't get me wrong, the other day G and I had pizza for one of our cheat treats, but you know, that's the thing, it's a treat rather than something that's the norm or something that we're regularly putting into our body. And I think that you know as a culture or you know as a society we underestimate the healing power of food and i've said this many times before you know food is medicine um back in 2016 i was diagnosed with hpv and i had stage 3 cervical dysplasia and i think one of the biggest things that helped contribute to um, me healing my HPV was the fact that I did a total diet change and I really watched what I was putting into my body because like I said food is medicine um, you can choose foods that are high in antioxidants that are high in anti-inflammatory properties that help make your body more alkaline than acidic and all these aspects can contribute to your body's immune system um, so yeah, just making sure, you know, you're eating the right foods, you know, you're fueling your body with the right things and all this stuff helps to support your immune health. Um, so that's the food aspect. Let's talk about the body portion of it. So I make it a point to do 15 to 30 minutes of yoga daily and yoga is my thing, but for you, it might not be yoga and that's totally fine. But I think the important thing is, is finding something that does make you get up and move your body and something that you can do consistently. So, you know, I'll do 15 to 30 minutes of yoga a day. And then at the end of work, G and I will go out with our baby and walk around our neighborhood, you know, and go on these little inclines and do our daily walks. So I have about 30 minutes of yoga and then 30 minutes of walking. And, you know, I love going outside. I love breathing the fresh air. I love getting vitamin D from the sun. And, you know, going outside is one of the easiest way that you can, easiest ways that you can get your vitamin D. And I think, you know, vitamin D along with food being so healing, um, it's another thing that's underestimated by our society. Um, vitamin D is so important to our health and um, you can take it in a supplemental form, but I highly recommend just, you know, going outside for 20 minutes and soaking up the sun's rays. Um, yeah, it can really, really contribute to your body's immune system. Um, so that's the physical aspect. So let's talk about, you know, your emotional body. So, you know, think about your thoughts and think about not only the way you speak and think about others, but more importantly, the way you think and speak to yourself. So, you know, are your thoughts more empowering? Are they rooted in love? Are they rooted in compassion? Are they rooted in forgiveness? Or are they more toxic? You know, are you hanging on to things? Are they rooted in anger? Are they even rooted in hate? And I truly believe that we can have, you know, the best physical body, but if our thought patterns are toxic and they're detrimental to, you know, our 
our thought process and the way we think about ourselves, you know, that can really do a number on our health and it can affect our overall health tremendously. So, you know, think about the things that you think and think about the way that you speak um, to you in particular. And, you know, I make it a point to even laugh daily. I love laughing. I mean, who doesn't? But um, my husband knows that I'm easily amused. And I try not to take things so seriously, you know? Like, life is too short to do that. So remember to have fun. Remember to laugh. Um, and try to see the bright side of things, you know, rather than always seeing the glass or the cup as half empty. Um, so yeah, that's the emotional body. Let's talk about the spiritual body. So how do we choose to connect with spirit? How do you choose to connect with spirit? So for me, you know, I do 10 minutes of um, daily meditation. You know, I like to drop in, I like to tune inwards, I like to get quiet, and I like to, you know, connect with back to me, which, you know, in turn is spirit. But that's just what I do. For you, it could be, you know, reading the Bible, it could be going to church, it could be praying, whatever it is, you know, do it to connect back to spirit. Um, another thing that I like to do too is breath work. You know, it's something that I facilitate. So um, when it comes to breath work, you're using a three-part pranayama breathing technique to help move and release your emotions and stuck energy, which, you know, in return, once released, can connect you back to the true you, which is also spirit. So, you know, whatever it is, just do it. Um, and I think it's important to do it consistently um, because all these aspects, like I said, you know, it's our physical health. Our, it's our physical body, it's our emotional body, it's our mental body, it's our spiritual body. Like all these combine to create a well-rounded person, a well-rounded individual, a more holistic, a more healthy self. So, you know, what is it that you're gonna choose to do? And, you know, the beautiful thing about our health and the healthy living is that you can choose to start anytime. It's just up to you to choose to do so. So how will you choose to support your well-being today? Just something to think about. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have. I hope this served you. I hope you found some nuggets of wisdom that you can take with you. If you have any questions, um, especially you know about how I choose to help my diet, and to facilitate healing in my body, feel free to reach out. Um, I also do breath work, so if you're interested in doing a private breath work session with me, feel free to reach out too. I may be holding circles in the near future, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I hope this served you. I hope you have a beautiful weekend, and thank you for listening and watching. Namaste.